Okay. There we go. Well, guys, sorry about the lighting. I don't have really a flashlight to use. Um, I'm back with a new video today. Well, we're making a light bulb. Now, we, I still have the same power supply, obviously. And, but, I did make these so I can sneak inside the glass jar. Um, this is going to be a very, very basic one. Um, oh crap, where'd my pencil light go? Okay, I found the, I found the, lead. it's pretty small. It's 0 0.9 millimeter lead on like, for instance, on like, you know, the 0 0.7 millimeters that is usually standard. This is a, whoop. yeah, it's a big pencil, mechanical big pencil. So it's not going to, it's using proprietary design. Um. Basically, all you all you do with the lead is attach it to your alligator clip, right, like that, and then take your other alligator alligator clip, attach it to the end. Also, you might notice I have both hands available. I found my tripod finally, so yay! <laughs> don't mind the playing card; I don't know why it's here. Um, Okay, so let me make this a little easier to see. Here, let me, actually, there you can see it. There it is. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to bend it up like that. Then, when it's bent up, up. Oh, okay, I found my other piece of lead. I feel done now. Get it there. Okay, and I just lost. It. Whatever, it's, it's a lost cause, I guess, I don't know. Okay, so what What you're going to want to do is you want to place your glass jar above it like that. Okay. Now, you can use, I've seen people use like seven AA batteries. I've seen people use like six D, D size batteries. Um, I'm using my power supply um, as I don't have six batteries lying around at four but that won't work um so you have your thing you have your two leads coming in now it might it will generate some smoke actually it might not be smoke it might be vaporization of the graphite you're gonna hear that a lot I have my window open for venting purposes I've done this a lot lately um in fact, I, I just got it working like less than an hour ago. So let's go ahead and turn the power supply on. Three, two, one. You're going to see smoke. Awesome. Okay. Okay, it must not be making connection. Um. Bring out the multimeter. Okay, as you can see, I have the multimeter. I will put that right there. It doesn't have a sand sadly, but you can still kind of see. It also doesn't make a beep noise sadly. So I'm going to put it on the lead. You can see it's making contact now. And you can tell it's at like 6 ohms, so... I'm gonna take that away, turn it off. Just gonna put it behind the camera. Okay, let's try this again. Move this over. Glass. Terrible. Glass jar over. Turning it on. There we go. Nine amps being used, by the way. Okay. 
now after you run it once you want to turn it you want to disconnect power pretty fast and then at least this is what i do you want to take this you want to find something to cup it with like i don't know a paper towel you want to lift it up place it underneath and my voice is going to get a little lower place next to the window for a bit and all the smoke should be sucked out. Um, I will cut back to when it's ready. Okay. It's ready. So. Here's what. So. I just do this because usually. For my, at least when I tested it. It will stop the smoke from really forming a lot. So. Once again. Before you connect power. Always make sure your jar is placed over. Want to prevent some of the smoke or vaporization. I honestly don't know which part it is. I don't have anything to test it. Sorry if I talk fast. It's just my, how I normally talk. Turn it on. It's going to smoke a bit, though. But, as you can see, it's a glowing. Pretty bright. Oh, uh, you probably couldn't see that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you could have seen that. Um, I'm going to focus it a bit more on there. I should get a backdrop to put like right there or something. Okay. That's two, three. Make sure everything's all right with my power supply. Make sure it's not overheating. Three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, it's working. Um, let me turn off the light. Okay. This will, this should give you a better picture of it. All, um, well, the closet light's on, so it still has some light to see. I will actually turn them off, though. Just so you can see it better. Three, two, one. As you can see, it illuminates pretty well. Um, there is some smoke coming out. Let me grab that. As you can see, it's illuminating pretty well. Don't mind the mess of junk. It's just because I have the thing right there, but that's full. I have a box full of alligator clips there. Okay, my power supply is my power supply. Yeah, let me turn on the lights back on. Power supply was delivering 55 watts. That's the most I've ever used in that power supply. It was I think it was about 10 amps of power. That's the max it can go to. Um, I, I don't know, let me turn it on so you can see how much voltage. Only 6.2 volts. Um, now, if you run it for long enough, I don't know if it's really noticeable, but you might be able to see a slight bit of thinning in the front, or in, and it, the fan turns on, and I don't like when the fan turns on. I know it's supposed to turn on. <laughs> it's just kept peeve of mine. Let's try it again. Ooh, even brighter. Yeah, right. It it doesn't like it much when it, that happens. It only limits it to like stuff. Crap. I did not about just fall in, into my closet, breaking the closet. Um. Well, that's. Sh I think that's the end of this video. Um. If you have any questions, by the way, be careful when you're going to actually pick this up. It might be a little hot. Um, I'm going to go place it by the window for it to cool. Um, but yeah, um, also be careful touching the leads. It's not too bad, but it's still pretty warm or pretty hot. I wouldn't touch them if I were yet. I'm a professional idiot. Okay, as you can see, it actually thinned out a bit in the middle, and that's why I'm like 99% sure it's actually vaporizing it. Though that glow is from all the research I've done, I mean, it hasn't been like loads and loads. I haven't gone to college and did it uh, as I, I'm not even in high school yet. Um, but so. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. 
that glow right that was right there on that little piece of lead right there you is usually around 2500 degrees celsius <laughs> in other words really really hot and don't touch it or else well do you want fingers <laughs> yeah um as long as you keep it in the glass jar and don't touch it while it's running it should be fine to touch or not to touch but it should be fine these from all the tests i've done they only usually last around a minute using pencil lead or graphite whatever same thing so it's not something you can also never hook it up to an actual light socket do not hook it up to a light socket please you risk it watching yourself and it blowing up in your face <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Um, have any com or have any questions, leave it in the comments. Like, subscribe. Hopefully you're actually watching to this point. Um, also, by the way, after a bit, it's going to be very cold down, but safe to touch. It is very fragile. Like, watch. I put less than a pound of force there. And yes, I know I'm switching between metric and um, imperial a lot. I'm kind of tired. It's, I don't know. Um, what check? What? You can't check the time on the recording? Oh, please say I'm recording. Okay. It's. It is 9.47 p.m. So, I, I'm a bit tired. I mean, I usually go to sleep about two hours from now, but still. But, yeah. Have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also, using thinner lead will actually usually, well, will usually let it grow a little brighter. Let me see if I can find that piece of lead. I'll, okay. Never mind. I was going to say I'll cut when I find it, but I found it. Okay, so let's connect it. I'm gonna go grab the glass jar after I get these connected. Okay, so there's lead one, that would be negative, positive. There's lead two, that's ground. Wait, no, I do have set up to negative. I mean, they're the same. It's, they're both connected, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna go grab the jar real quick and place it over. Okay, hope you can see it fine. In fact, make it easier to see the glow. Sorry for the shaky camera. I don't, I don't have the steadiest of hands. Okay, you should be able to see it there. I'm going to turn off the light. Can't see anything pretty much, and especially with YouTube darkening the videos. Turn it on now. Bruh, it's not making a connection. And yes, I just said, bro, shut up. You. Ah, crap, my stand fell over. I'm gonna cut the one I can get set back up. Okay, I have set back up. Placing it over now. You can see it just fine, actually. I think this is even better. Turning off the lights now. And turning it on. It's still not making connection. Okay. All part of the troubleshooting process. And I just broke the light. Also, if you're looking for new music to li listen to, and you haven't listened to this band, or this group, I should say, I don't know the definition of band, honestly. Um, try listening to the Inkspots, honestly. 
They're a pretty good band. They're from the 40s. It's jazz. You don't like it, but... As you can see, a lot brighter, but also more smoke. Let me turn off the lights. Turning down the brightness. Now so you can probably see it better. <laughs> also, it's pretty bright. Let me turn it back. Okay, it's limiting. It's... When it gets super bright like that, turn it off. Disconnect power. Because that means you'll see here. It's about to explode. Well, not explode, but disconnect. See, it it's broken now. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. Have any questions? Leave them in the comments. Sorry, I'm gonna start up. I think I'm gonna start uploading weekly every Thursday or every Tuesday. Sorry, but um, I know the last time it was uploaded on a Monday. I do have a pretty nice project in the works. Um. Hint, hint, water clean up. Okay, that's a pretty big hint, honestly. If you don't get it, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I might make a follow-up video to this if I can get some, like, maybe in the chrome wire. Even though, other than that, I think about it, that's, like, way too high for its melting point. Um, let me set this down. Just on there. Take off. You don't really need the paper towel, it just makes it easier because less gets into your room. Ow! Dang it, I forgot those were hot. Well, luckily not too hot. Safe to touch. Hey, as long as it's not for like 500 hours. Um, um, I do want to make a follow-up video on the mechanical battery. Um, I don't know when that's going to happen though, sorry I'm sitting on the wall, but... So I guess that's going to be the end of this video. I'm sorry if I talk kind of fast or stuff like that. Um, well, see you guys in the next video. Have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Turn that bell on.